If I don't have my fucking sunglasses I ordered on Monday today. It doesn't even matter. The sun's never fucking out. Good point. <laughs> I can't hear you. Your mic's muted. Fuck. Come Fuck. On. Come on, lad. Come on, Mitt. Come on, Mitt said he had a big uh, bone to pick. Oh, Good. I remember the bone, actually, now that Connor nice. said that. Nice. Because we do continue. have bone. Continue. I continue have, on. Bro, oh. I have a giant bone to pick. Look, are we this, recording? Do we know? We are recording and we're okay. recording. Uh, Go ahead. Start picking. This is fucking... Uh, this time, uh, the time zone switch... Not time zone switch. Time... What it's called? Time change? change. Yes. The mm -hmm. daylight savings. Daylight, whatever. Yep. Bingo. Uh, daylight savings. Okay. And Connor just reminded me of this. I did. Mm -hmm. I have lost fucking four pairs of sunglasses just because <laughs> now I don't know what to fucking do with them because driving in it's like sometimes it'll get sunny and I'll put them on and then we're leaving and it's not fucking sunny so I'll leave them in my locker and then my locker's a shithole so they just get lost. Can I throw you an idea real quick Mitt? Leave them in your car. Oh, Put no, sunglasses on your car. Yeah. So yep. I have them in my car, but I'll like walk in too. with them. So I did this like four or five times. I walked in with them, <laughs> put them somewhere, mm -hmm. and then just obviously I left, and I didn't fucking have them. I like I to get them. like a $35 pair off of Amazon, wear those around willy-nilly, Lose them, but then I got my old faithful gas station sunglasses that do not leave the automobile. Welcome to the pod, bitch. That's <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, hey, look, uh, I, I'll tell you what I have done with my shades is I have turned into uh, quite a. Is that a pariah? Did you guys hear that? I think that's Mitt. No, what are you? What are you eating? Oh, sorry. Can you guys hear? That? I'm eating salted peanuts. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't even. I couldn't even tell. Yeah, I are they I, really I, salty? Very salty. I apologize. I'll, I'll, I'll fit. Just salt and no honey no, no. roasted. Pour keep, them on. Keep your those mouth. going. Let me finish what's in my mouth here, and then I'll, I'll stop uh, chewing directly into the microphone. So sunglasses, <laughs> I have started a wall. I have this little How thing. many all together, do you think? Oh, man, I, I don't know. Because there's a lot that are just, like, in drawers that I don't use. I, I would put it at, like, 50. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's ballpark where I would put so it. So you have a, a sunglass wall and all the T-shirts on the floor. Bingo. Okay. T-shirts floor in my room, sunglass wall right next to my door. Yeah, so when you're leaving, boom, those are my weapon of choice today. Big Can you do a project starting January 1st? For what? You take a photo, get 364 pairs of sunglasses. That's a really good idea. And then you take a photo every day. And then for the whole year. I mean, maybe. I, lot, I just bought like seven or eight That's what I'm saying. You, you, can you hit 364? I think I could, yeah, and that's my that's goal. A lot. <laughs> that's my goal for both shirts and sunglasses. If I just have three sixty-five, and then I do one or not one load, but I do laundry once, and then I go boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that would be the worst day of all fucking time, bro. Well, well funny enough, I would just drop it off somewhere. Mm -hmm. yep. like, hey, I'll see you in ten days. Yep, I haven't exactly. done that that's since fair. college. The whole drop off, wash and fold scene. Is, what a is gimmick! Is Indy the only spot that has like the Tide stores? Have you seen I've never seen, I have, well, I I never seen, seen that. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Anywhere else, yeah. Never seen I always see them, and I'm like, do I? Is it a laundromat? Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I've never That's been inside. Sick. I think it is. I did the drop-off clothes once. This was in February after the season, uh, just due to the fact – thank you, Fox. We saw you in there. Just due to the fact that uh, – I didn't feel like doing laundry from December on. No, I hear you. And so that's why I'm I'm shooting for 365. We're, we're getting there, yep. slow and steady. That's uh, awesome. Obviously, Thanksgiving throws off the whole routine. I usually do my laundry Saturday and Sunday and just let it pile up all week. So now I got a monster pile brewing because I didn't do it when I went home. Call so, me crazy. Okay. And this may just come with age. Start doing that laundry on Wednesday. Oh, fuck. No. And I'll tell you what. You don't have to worry about fucking doing it on your weekend. I, you never want to do laundry I'm on your weekend. I'm a big week, weekend. So weekend? Guy. I have started doing it Thursday, starting before Thursday night football. It's also a lot. But Wait, then, but you, then it, you, you have units in your apartment. Yeah, though, but it, yeah. If, so if I start at night, it's in my dryer, and then it go, does one dry cycle, and then I touch it, and my hoodies are wet, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to run it fucking again. And then I fucking go to bed. Yeah, but that's fine because you wake up and it's dry. What do you mean? It's yeah, but then it gets wet. all wrinkly, crinkly. I will tell you, my my Dude, dryer has a setting. Do? If it's still damp, it'll keep going. Yeah, me too. Yep. Uh, it's awesome. Wrinkle wrinkle cycle thing. Yeah, yeah. I I've been also just throwing it on fucking heavy duty, and that that you tends can't to get throw it on done. heavy duty, dude. It trashes your clothes. Yes, 
That's why they're all wrinkly and shitty, probably. Jesus. Oh. Heavy duties for, like, towels. Yeah, yeah. When you do your towels uh, and sheets. Oh, Especially in the dryer. That's what's, that's what's fucking with my shit. Like, all your clothes yeah, don't ever wash your, don't ever dry your clothes on heavy duty. Gotcha. Never. Uh, boys, I, I think we should address something pretty major. Yeah. What do we I, have here? I mean, earth, it's not major. earth shattering, really. I mean, truly, can you just shut the fuck up until... Uh, <laughs> I'm truly earth shattering. Ne- never has happened before. Uh-uh. Now, not one time since we've been in the dome have have we been graced one time with the presence of Evan Foxy, baby. How about it? Folks? Here we go, boys. Oh, Here we go. Welcome to the jungle. Yep, this is like the tenth guy on the bench. All right, you guys are a little shorthanded today, and Scow. I said I will come in here for a little bit and say what's up to the pod, boys, because as <laughs> everyone knows. Bangles. We are the biggest <laughs> Pontiacs on earth here, so I had yeah. to come in and say what's up. You are. Thank you, Foxy. We are shorthanded today. Uh, yep. we, no Nick, no Tone. Yeah, Tone Diaz uh, is back at the ranch. Mm-hmm. Nick, uh, closing on a new home today. Yeah, big day. Oh. Big day for uh, Lord Skates. Um, big day for everybody, man. How, how was everybody's weekend, huh? It was pretty it was good. Before weekend, we get Foxy. into that, should we continue picking bones? I mean, Foxy, do you, do you, you have, have any, a, yeah. you have you any have bones you would pick? like yeah, to pick? Yeah, pick a bone. Anything? Uh, pick a bone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, yeah. Foxy's so yeah. yeah. Fox yeah. got a bone yeah. spot. Yeah. 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 Give me like 30 seconds yeah, to pick up something to pick. Can I bring up, I've only bought three pairs of sunglasses my whole life, and one of them, they're all Ray-Bans. Wow. Same pair. Yep. Uh, Donnie Iris stole my first pair ever. Son of a bitch! How? That's a bone. Oh, I yeah. left him at the Pittsburgh show. And oh he yeah. Was, uh, the next day. Yep. Uh, when we were doing live shows, and he stole it. Makes what sense? Know, he He's got glaucoma, it. so he needs you know Sounds sunglasses. Like Donnie's kind of a prick, but um, oh. nah, he, I'm sure he's a good guy. Never met him. Probably will <laughs> will never meet him. I, I I have an update on a bone. Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Chapstick. I, that's right. Yeah, my, the chapstick, the oh, rogue yeah, chapstick. What happened here? Okay, so I actually. Funny enough, last week after we recorded the pod, I let everyone know there's this fucking chapstick in my apartment hallway. It's been there for three days, <laughs> from from a Sunday till a Tuesday. So after I said this and the chapstick was gone, reappeared. I sent a photo to the group, like, "Hey, look at this! There, the shit's still here." And then uh, yesterday, I'm going to my apartment get get off the elevator. You know, chapstick hasn't been there in a while. Sure, walking to my apartment right as I'm about to like clear the elevator portion of the hallway. I just take a quick glance to my right. Chapstick's in the fucking corner now. What the fuck? Somebody moved it? No someone moved way. Someone kicked it into the corner. Yeah, for sure. So everyone's corner. doing what you're doing. They're all like, I'm not picking up the chapstick, but I'm going to look at the chapstick every single day yes. until someone does. So this is the updated photo. Oh, this is the photo. This is the updated one after I saw it again. And my whole thinking, seeing it Sunday morning was, okay, hold someone hold just up. forgot that hold. they dropped their chapstick. This is where it was sitting for a week? Yes. Right in the middle? Right in the middle. That's I didn't awesome. know it was right in the fucking right middle. Right in the middle, right by the elevators. So on Sunday morning, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just thinking someone just dropped this. Sure. And I'm a, I'm a mango, birds, bees guy, so obviously Same, this by isn't the mine. Way. Yeah, mango's the best. Uh, yeah, it turns out, you can kind of see it in the photo, actually. Top left corner. Yep. It, there's another one of those corners just from where I am <laughs> taking this uh, shot right here, and yep. it is now tucked away in that corner. Wow. I, I, might, so some, I might pick it up. Somebody you think kicked, it's a somebody kicked it? Somebody kicked it. Oh, yeah. on out of or the is it a pod? Yeah. I think someone kicked it. Is At this pod, point, yeah, you got to yeah. let it sit. you got to see how long it sits for. I know. Well, it's already been a week. Yep. I know. That's or, what's awesome. you, or, you, it's or you pick yeah. it up, you go out on your balcony, and you you turn towards that beefy gas station, and you see just how far you can throw it. Just huck it. That's not a bad idea either. Can. Or you go down to the front desk. Yeah. And you yeah, take rip it down into there. whoever is no, take it down there like it's a lost. <laughs> what the fuck am I paying? Who <laughs> <laughs> left this here? This Operation <laughs> Chapstick. Just keep dropping one every day. Just till there's like fifty of them yeah, in the hallway. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, yeah. this who's is doing it? it? Or you know what you yeah. could do if you really want to get rid of it? Take a dump right next to it. <laughs> yeah, okay. and then it will be forced. That's good Let's idea. see. Someone yeah. pick this up. <laughs> exactly. What yep. I should do is just set up a chair in front of the buttons for the elevator with the chapstick. Sit down. Said no, no one can use this elevator until we figure out whose fucking chapstick <laughs> yep, this is on yep, this floor. That's also good. 14 good. people yeah. waiting again. That is good. Dude, and I, like Ty's idea with the concierge, it's the same guy every night. So he knows something. So at this point, like we have the like, the uh the the you know, two minute conversation. Oh, you, guys know, so you guys know it. You have a good bullshit. Yeah, just like a no, not no. It's not good. It's never good. Okay. It's never good. It's Usually, kind of just like a head nod and then like a no. Like, oh, does, day, he, long is, day. Is, he, is he chasing a conversation? I, at this point, I am. Oh. <laughs> I'm the one chasing. I'm like, hey, like, how are we doing today? Good. 
Uh, any anything crazy today or good? Like everything good? Same. Same and, same as yesterday, he, motherfucker. I don't know if he's watching something Did, or if he doesn't want to talk to me, but he doesn't give me shit. Does he so, talk to other people in the building? Have I, you seen him have conversations with other people? Yeah. Oh, so he's fucking you over. I think so. <laughs> oh, no. And you like, I have something for you. I think it'll work. Okay. Uh, I, got uh, I have a couple well. of Simply Safe cameras that you could just yep. put it outside. Yeah. Yep. In the corner. And Let's it's see. battery operated, so we could just put it on your Wi Fi and put it on the top of your door <laughs> facing the chapstick. That might be against some building two, codes. Two. You tall. Give me two. 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 Hours. <laughs> two hours. Pontiacs are going to be pumped. Yep. Um, you, know what, you know what else you could do? There's only recording capacity for 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, you could also just, <laughs> and this it, this guy will it's never no see that. that. Say, hey, how you doing? He says that, and you just be like, why are you so fucking rude? And <laughs> just see what he does. Oh, yep, he will not yeah. be expecting that or, at all. Or closer to Christmas, you get a nice big wad of cash, and you peel off. Like, I'm talking about like. You peel off a dollar bill. Yep, you have yeah. like 1500 bucks, and you peel off 200 and say, hey, maybe. Maybe be a little nicer. You won't get any coal in your stocking. Oh, that'd be good. Yep. There you go. That'd be good. That's not a bad or, idea. Hey, holiday season, I got something for you. Go into your pocket and then pull out the Boom! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that would be spade. awesome. I should think about doing that. Uh, That's what I'm talking Now about. that we're talking about this, because not being chatty, when I first moved into this building, there was a man, I believe his name was, I, I want to say Wes or Les, any freshest motherfucker I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Different suit every day. Great shoes. Wearing a suit. Suit. Different <laughs> suit. <laughs> every day. Sometimes three piece suit. Vibrant colors. Everything. Never Thought seen him in New York. Yeah. yeah never seen him. Hotel. Yeah, well, so I've never seen him in the same suit. He I mean this I couldn't get this guy to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Master yeah. of his career. He trade. probably yeah. has uh like a, a concierge background. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He, he's a vet. I, I Bruce, I know where you're going. You might be right, but a crazy he, person. He's, a, he's a vet. <laughs> Um, <laughs> funny enough, I believe he talked too much, got fired. Really? Wow. Haven't seen Wes in, I don't know, two years. I'm walking downtown the other night. I think it was to the, uh, Adam Sandler comedy show. I see fucking Les Wex, whatever the fuck this guy's name Wex. is. I see him. Yeah. Sorry. Got stuff on the brain. I see him standing in front of a hotel. He's a doorman at the hotel wow. across oh, from no. the. Wow. He got flexed. Yeah. He got yeah. Flexed. yeah. Maybe he yeah, got flexed he, he up. Got, yeah. I don't know if that's a flex up. Really? It's got to be. It hotel is, is tips. A yeah. Up. Tips. You get. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So hotel. he took a step up. But yeah, I, I wasn't sure if maybe that's why. Because my man was such a chatterbox. Couldn't shut up like, enough that maybe they got the memo. Like, hey, you got to shut the fuck up. Yeah. But then there was a different lady who got fired because she wouldn't talk enough. Really? Or he got yep. canned because he we'll took a quick. He took a vacant. No, 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 that's he sad. took a vacant we'll, one bedroom. Man. That's a milk the clock. Let's make this thing long. We'll wrap it. Suits. Pontiacs deserve two hours at least. I think no, well, funny, the milk in. Tony. Tony was sending in his hour. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, Tony yeah. will send in his solo hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah big, good idea. Like stand up. Yeah. Let's go from there. I got the sweet new hoodie. That's a good. Idea. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, sweet new hoodie. Hanks. Are they work. using that for their alternates? I have no idea. It's Indiana nights. These are Indiana days. Yeah. Uh, hang time. Hang time's a good spot. Oh, yeah. Speaking of hang time, I would like to hang with the pod. Yeah. For at least two hours. Yes. Okay. Let's you go. Got it. You yep. guys are a day late. Take a seat. No. 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 In my ears. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh away from AFS. Okay. In my okay. ears. Okay. Not away from in. stage. Yeah, yeah. So let's make sure, because you guys were a day late. Sure. Uh-huh. Two guys short. Yep. Right. Uh-huh. Yep. Let's make sure we're giving the Pontiacs who, me and Foxy, congratulate. Holy shit. This what is a, a big day. I mean, this is a big What moment. a dream. We've been talking about this for months, years at least, and now we're sitting here, and yeah, the Pontiacs should be pretty happy You're about representing this, all of us. I know. Yeah. And a, you got a fan on the yeah. set. It's Perfect. been bad we, so far. We can ask him every question we have for the Pontiac. They already yeah. asked me one of their favorite segments, you got a bone to pick with someone, and I said, I got to think about this one. That's a bad start. There's so many segments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible start that. for me. So many. So many. Funny Pontiacs are pissed. Most people who have bones, they, you know, they've tweeted them at us and stuff. Haven't heard uh, much from you two, but, but we don't have any bones. Really? We don't have any. Okay. Bones we're always so happy with anything. Okay. Yes, you guys got no we're listening bones. To we're so happy. No we bones. Forget about There's all the bones. There's not one thing that you can think of. Not one thing that it, you can think there's of. There's a couple of things you guys may have said a couple of times. That we've talked about a few times. Right. Okay. Exactly. We said, "Hey, I wish the boys wouldn't say, but this is your art." Yeah. Well, this and also, is your art, yeah. Basil. You guys aren't in the subreddit. We're in the subreddit. That's how diehard we are. We're in the Reddit, and you guys are on the yeah. Twitter. So, so like, Foxy's in the subreddit. Yeah, yeah exactly. you, may wanna, okay. you may want to back out, stay out of that. Pocket. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying a lot of mean stuff in there. I'm in the dark web. <laughs> dark okay, web. Yeah. okay, get out. Sure. And I'm letting them know 
hey, the pod's the real deal. <laughs> yeah. They go, they say, Pontiac Pat, you're back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I am. We mm-hmm. continue to spread the message that since the boys were delayed yep. in putting out an episode here after Thanksgiving. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they are so grateful. Yep. To all the Pontiacs, like myself. Yeah, and myself. Maybe there was a- one person that was pushing to delay yesterday who's actually not here, which is kind of weird. It's crazy. He got a house, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I, all about? I had that on I the calendar. It was, was it his idea? I don't know what happened. That was a good move. Yeah. That's weird. Ruined my Tuesday night. Oh. Me too. I mean, what, a, what the fuck do we do without it? Yeah. Well, guess what? This is ruining my Wednesday night. So <laughs> come on. <laughs> We're not getting any of this. We're here for the P-O-D. Oi. 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 P-O-D. Oi. 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 Why don't you boys dive in, you know, and we get two, three hours for the party exit. We will. So, so, real we quick, will. real quick. We, we have actually put together kind of like a... Pontiac trivia. We won't ask. We won't get into everything. What does FOD stand for? Folder of Doom. Oh, Thank you. oh you're so oh, close. Okay. So close. Hey, so hey. close. Folder we'll of it. Destruction. We'll, no, so we'll take you're Doom. You, you, I mean, Folder uh, of Devastation. Uh, <laughs> you're getting warmer. They all play. Folder of Drama. Ah, oh, right. yeah. you're, you're further away with drama. Closer with da. <laughs> Folder <laughs> of dash. Dash. No. If, if da. <laughs> Doom and death. There same word. There doom and go. death. Doom and death. Go. Folder yeah. of death. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Bingo. It was never the folder of doom? No. <laughs> no, 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 but honestly. Pretty good name. Yeah, yeah that, that one might bad. have legs. We, we might have to go back to that. Pretty sure I thought that's what the name's been this whole time. Well, it's doom for you because whenever we're done with it, the episode's over. Yeah, doom and gloom's when the FOD's done. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. right. There'll never be death of the FOD. No, 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 We'll listen to forever. Forever. No, no matter us. what. Yeah, we've heard about that. Now, we did get sued because of some of the shit that put on the pod. <laughs> That's we right. You know, we had to do mm. some stuff. That's right. Good. thought it was for that, too. That, that was certainly something. Music and Fuck other rights. Everybody get up. up. Yeah. It's not <laughs> <laughs> say it Don't say it too good. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> that was spot they were on. Trying to, they were trying to get like 25, 30 grand out of us. For oh, them. yeah. Uh-huh. That was a funny. That was after the Brett Favre lawsuit, too. Yeah, yeah. MJ needs it. There was two lawsuits right. coming at the same time. And I believe that show was from, like, 2019. They came knocking four years later. They've been waiting. They were just laying in wait. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just like me for the next pod episode. Yep. So oh, let's yeah. make sure we get this oh, one done and make it Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That yeah. folder of destruction. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> We're about to destroy this pod fod. Um, I do have a, I do time. Have, I do have a bone to pick. Okay. I got a bone after you. Okay, sounds good. I thought of one. So I ordered uh, DoorDash last night, as I sometimes do when I get home a little later. Sure. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Actually, I, I shouldn't say that. I didn't order DoorDash. I ordered Pizza Hut. Oh. And then I get the notification immediately. Okay, hey, we don't have enough fucking delivery drivers, so DoorDash is going to have to come pick, pick yeah. up your order. Which is fine. No Whatever. Matter. You went and picked it up? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I ordered through the app for delivery. And then, like, you get a notification, like, probably 10 minutes after that. It says, like, hey, DoorDash is going to handle your delivery. Like, we don't have, you know. But you don't got to pay for the fees? No. What a gimmick. Well, it's it's weird because you still, like, I was still would have tipped the delivery driver, so I don't know if he gets that or if he kind of gets screwed over in that. I don't know exactly know how it works. You'd have to take that up with Pizza Hut. Um, I will. Sure. <laughs> but I, put, I always put on their contact, contactless delivery. You know, drop it off, set it down, get the fuck out of there. I don't mm-hmm. want to talk with anybody. I don't want to, you know, receive it. So this son of a bitch comes up, and it's, uh, I, I get it at probably like 9.15. And I'm not kidding. He rang my doorbell about 10 times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Called me. That's a bone. That now that's a bone. bone. And so after I didn't answer the doorbell, he called me. And granted, his English wasn't great, which is, you know, no big deal. Right. But I answered, and I was like, yeah, just fucking drop it. Like, set it down. I'm yep. not coming up. He's like, he didn't understand what I was talking mm-hmm. about. So ultimately, I had to go up 
And boy, was I, uh, oh man. Fuming. I fucking ripped that pizza box out of his hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. And basically slammed the door in his face. He felt no. That. He felt it. He should have. Oh, he should've. shit. That's good. But I just, oh, man. Yeah, that would drive me insane. Multiple doorbell rings is, is well, definitely. Especially if you have a dog. Like, my dog, yeah. pretty well behaved, but it doesn't matter. That thing's getting rung 10 times. She's going absolutely bonkers. And that's why we actually had to cancel the pod yesterday, is because my, my dog was. Uh, he he was puking a bunch yeah. and stuff like that. So he he had a bunch of fucking drugs and medicine in him. So I didn't have to worry about that. But my daughter's room is right above. I was like, if my daughter wakes up because this oh. of a bitch rings the doorbell ten times and can't. So playing a bones advocate here, uh, was he just worried you wanted to, to just you have a fresh pie? It wasn't going to get cold out there. No, because it. it it tells you when it's been delivered. Okay. You right. know, like, because he's still a DoorDash driver, so he still has to, like, take the picture, and you still get, like, the automated text message that says, like, hey, your order's been dropped yeah. off. But, it's like, what what are we doing here, pal? Get the hell out of, get the hell out of here. Yeah, please. please. My last house, my doorbell didn't work, and I just never fixed it, because I was like, this is actually kind of nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, you know? perfect. But my new house, boy, that doorbell's fucking loud. It works. Hey, if you oh, want yeah. me, I could go over there and unplug that for you. No, it's nice. You know, I, I, you should have a working doorbell. But, I mean, I'll tell you what. <laughs> if that ever happens again. No, thanks. There's going to be hell to pay. Yeah, I'm yeah. done with doorbells. How about a doorbell limit? How about if you, as many times you hit it, just once? Yeah. So, can it, you, how do you customize it? Because I would like it to be rung once and then for, like, there to be, like, a 20-second cool song. I believe it's just, like, the, the thing on top. You gotta fuck with. You, right. you just gotta fix it. Yeah. The actual wiring. No, the wiring just goes to that little box. That's uh, usually oh the yeah, top. you're talking about like the actual like receiver inside. Yeah. I have no idea where mine's at. None. Mm, son of a no bitch. That's my that's my bone. Though. I got that's a bone to pick. Uh, real quick, Foxy. Sorry. No. We gotta kick Jake Herbstreet out of this show group. Yeah, that's a good bone. I'm <laughs> done. I'm done with street talk. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. I'm done. I want him. I want to see street talk on my TV with his brother. Yep. Talking about yep. something, I want to see him. Yep, it, it seems like Jake meant to text the Street Talk group chat oh. and accidentally sent it oh. to oh. either that, every employee, either of that, this or, or that's oh. what he's trying to act like. But really, he's just trying to send that in and be like, "Hey guys, new Street hey. Talk episode. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys forget about Street Talk." <laughs> I respect that. Actually, I hope that's what's going on here. Oh, yeah, I just that, saw it. that is what's going on. Not oh, English. No. Need to mention uh, Squid Games. Yeah, it's time. It, I'm I'm sick of it. It's time to get that fucker out. And I love Jake like a brother, but boy, oh boy, I'm done with it. What are we talking about? We're talking about his text. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my, 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 <laughs> my brand hell? new bone pick is Herbie's got to go out of that group chat. <laughs> yeah, why is he in there? Yeah, you know what? Don't worry, I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> He's in like a lot of our group chats for the show and stuff. I noticed. Yeah, we gotta. Hey, you're a good kid, but also good riddance, Herbie. <laughs> good run, Herbie. Oh, oh, <laughs> Don't They're worry, awesome. I just asked him what the shape of Italy is. A boot. boot. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to wait for him to respond to boot? <laughs> no, I think he knows what's happening. How do you do this? Uh, Fox, you go. Why don't you, why don't you hit us with your... Um, with your okay. Uh, I was thinking I hate how technology has gotten smarter, but it's also gotten much slower. Example, ooh, ooh. my TVs, my smart TVs. All I need to do is select apps, and it's on two separate ones. So don't say I got a shitty TV because one of them is very nice and one of them maybe not so nice. The and they both the do it. Uh, I believe I, one of them is a Samsung. Okay. The other one, PCL? I forget. I forget what the other one is. But anyway, example, you're just trying to go scroll apps. All mm-hmm. you're trying to do is go, I don't want YouTube TV. I want Netflix or I want one six rows down. You click it. It takes a half second, one second, two seconds, finally moves. And then you do it again, and it takes forever, and it moves. It's not instantaneous, and it drives me fucking crazy. And you know what else does that is game consoles do that. Now, I don't even play video games anymore because to play one game of 2K, to play one game of Chell, to play one game of anything, Call of Duty, you name it, it takes 45 minutes from startup 
to getting into the game. It takes 45 minutes to get into there, you and it drives console? me fucking crazy. I haven't done it in a while on the game consoles, oh. so correct me if I'm wrong That's how here. I know you don't have a PlayStation 5. Oh! Ooh, Swing. I've never been a PlayStation guy. So all the new... Because when you had a GameCube back in the day, oh. all you had to do is click power, quick game, you pick your teams, and you're in. And I thought you were about to say you're streaming on a GameCube. I was like, yeah, oh, no, that's no, no, a no, problem. thing, too. Don't forget about that. The do, 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 oh, yeah. It's awesome. What I mean, that shit drives me nuts. My smart TV can't have it. I yeah. want to spike my remote the every time. Smart TV thing is very real. I, or, you, or you hit down like three times and it goes like 800 yes. things past oh, what you're trying man. to do. Dude, it's like that to get to the football game on Amazon. Really? Yeah. yeah on my smart TV. Yep. It's fucking slow as shit, dude. Yeah, that's I, a nightmare. I will vouch for Foxy here on the 2K and Madden. I uh, would assume NHL is the exact same because they're made by fucking 2K or they're made by EA, which makes Madden takes. You have to go into the game. to use the loading screen. You have to go into whatever game mode you're going to play. Even you want to just go to fucking like there's not a quick play anymore. No. Something else. And then you go in. Mitt, what the fuck was don't that? you have a don't you have one of the new consoles? I, yeah, I have a new Xbox, and I'm telling you, the games take fucking forever just to get into this. Well, you have an games. inferior system. Yeah, I was just going to say, I, yeah, I'm wow. playing 2K on PlayStation. Yeah. So Boom. amongst the Soul gaming community, PS5. PlayStation for sure now is better. Yeah. I haven't played in forever. By yeah. far, oh, the is. Xbox, yeah. I own Xbox both of them. I, it has so much dust on them. On my Xbox, my PlayStation, I've been using all nonsense. Yeah, I'm wow. an Xbox guy. I have switched to PlayStation. Yeah. PlayStation is better. They blew uh, Xbox out of the water. They, oh, it, it is a completely changed game. If, for instance, when I get home, I'll turn my PlayStation on, and it'll be in the 2K game that I was playing last night that I paused mid-game. That's great. When you That's turn fantastic. it on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened to Xbox? What are we doing, man? That's it, fucking just, horseshit, actually. Like, it takes it. me. Xbox. I have to go out of the game. like Mitt has a bone to pick. Yeah, he has Xbox. Yeah. I tried to tell you, Mitt. I tried to. I said, hey, listen, get a PS5. Cut. So, no, dude, Xbox. So Xbox just better. stinks? I guess. It's so bad. I, I just left Xbox just because there were no, like, games that were exclusive on Xbox that I had I like, hadn't played or new ones coming out. I'll get the new Xbox when, you know, the next Halo or the next Gears of War. When that comes out, I'll get it. But for now, there's no reason not to play PlayStation. Yeah, and I'm here for the razzle-dazzle, the nice quality of Bingo. my TV, all the options I can have. But, let hey. Let's not forget the basics. Let's not forget the small things, the quickness. Because Ty even saying that his is slow, I know Ty has a really nice TV. Uh, well, my, on my very, very nice TV, it's not slow. But, like, on the other one, which is still, you know, it's, like, not a piece of shit. Yes. Samsung, Ty way too slow. Also, my oh, yeah. gave away the best TV of yeah. all time. That's right. I should. Well, I tried to give what it What happened? To you. It was actually the first TV to ever be wall-mounted. Yep. Really? Yeah, it was oh, yeah. Panasonic. I think Pan- it was about 250 pounds. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. <laughs> when, I, when I moved in, uh, I mean, this thing, it, it did, yeah, 250 pounds <laughs> at least. And I was just going to fucking spike this thing into the dumpster that I got. The moving guy was like, you throwing that away? I was like, yeah. He was like, can I have it? Like, yeah, get the fuck, <laughs> get the yeah, fuck sure. out of here. I was like, it doesn't have a remote. I was like, I can almost guarantee that thing doesn't work. He's like, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, the dude. fucking MacGyver? Yeah, pretty much. Clearing fun. out your house? Yeah, I guarantee that thing does not work. And it might have, like, ripped. Like a good chunk of drywall down off his house. No way. Tried to put it up. Might have fell on him. Yeah, could have. Could have. But I appreciate that guy. Thanks for getting rid of that for me. Yeah, good guy. Uh, any more bones? Any bones in the back? How's there? everyone's weekend? <laughs> Oh, it was good. Yeah. I, I'm a 10 year reunion. A lot of awkward small talk. Did you really? Oh, you Bruce. went? You went, Bruce? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to that. Did you go early? You went <laughs> yeah, late. Yeah, lay out the entire oh, yeah, time. Go. I, you wore those jeans? Tell anybody you fucked so, went, dude. I, I, I barely made my flight. That, that's a bone right there. The, t- the friggin' TSA lines At on Indy? the night before Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was brutal. Bare- I, had to, I had to be the guy that said, hey, I'm, I'm so sorry to do this. But can I please cut you in this TSA line? And I had to say that about forty times. I over. did the same thing. I did yeah. the same thing. Yeah, no choice. Um, but I, I'm, I did have a choice. Actually, I got there and they hadn't even boarded yet. I was like, Ooh, man, oh man, I yeah. just cut all those my, people. My Let boarding, me on this fucking plane now, quick. <laughs> my my boarding started and I was still balls deep in the TSA line. I was like, I gotta make a fucking power play here. You guys um, have pre check. No. no, but also the that, that, that almost doesn't matter at Indy's airport. TSA right. pre- mm-hmm. pre-check when I got there, Z, same exact line, yeah. wow. if not like one or two longer than I will tell line. you, it does like move fast. Oh yeah, because you don't have to take off your shoes and yeah. all that bullshit. Well, also, uh, we don't have clear. Like clear isn't in Indiana. Yeah. No. no, 
No, nor, that's crazy. Nor is like sky priority because it's not like a Delta terminal or anything like Airport's that. Airport's just not big enough. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you, every other day of the year, except for, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, this basically doesn't matter. Maybe you get a little headwind on like July 3rd or whatever, but but nothing like, like it is the night before Thanksgiving. So I anyway, barely make the flight. Um, my boy, uh, I got a driver. Ooh, so, uh, nice. A guy, a guy. One does geez. well. Jeez. So a, Wait, sorry. Was your reunion the same day as the flight? Yeah, it was Wednesday. Okay. It was Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, it's a Fuck weird one day. I, I so got to show some love to Muhammad. Year, so ten year reunion. This guy drove me from Laguardia to Newark after a flight cancellation. Jesus Christ! He, that guy's a hero. He drove me there so fucking fast, rolling on the shoulder, doing cut through moves that I I didn't even know existed on the way to the Newark airport. And I said, you know what? What's your name, sir, Muhammad? Take my phone number and and I'm gonna I'm gonna call you on the side if that's okay. Now we have a budding relationship. He drove me to Connecticut. He drove to Connecticut. Drove me back to LaGuardia. He's my he's he's, he's, my guy. he's one of my best friends. Are, are you sending, uh, okay. are you sending him memes yet? Uh, no, no, just this. Uh, he just <laughs> thanks me. Photos. Thanks S- me. Send so him much. like a you on the way to the airport, and then yeah. just send him a picture like Vin Diesel. Or yeah, yeah. See if he gets a that, yeah. I'd be like it. you right now, and that then just is, send Baby Driver. We we just talk about we've. Every single time we've talked about the Grand Wagoneer for a solid five minutes, how it's, it's nice over. The how Grand Wagoneer is phenomenal. Overpriced yeah. yes. and, and, you know, not worth it. He's big, oh. on, he's big on, like, the Volvo VI 35. Okay. Now, is he going to get him one? <laughs> no. <laughs> you should yeah. if he's a driver. Certainly not. Why not, prick? He, he's always got a story about how his car's in the shop or something. Love that. Mitt, him and Mitt, Mitt would get along. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah, I got- all right, so do we have what did, uh, on the, Yeah, uh, yeah, I kind of lost the plot here. <laughs> so back to the reunion itself. Yep. There's too much where you see a kid and you know you're like, "Oh my god." How Brad. big was your high school? Like how many kids are we talking here? Gra- the, yeah, like, graduating hey, class. It, uh, it, at the reunion packed bar in the graduating class like 550. Ooh. And this is your high school. No. That's a big is that high school. Bullshit? Yeah, this is your high school in Connecticut, school. right? Yes, that might be bullshit. I, I might misremember how many people are in my graduating class. Well, you got to account for, I mean, wait, no. How big is your town? Two thousand people. That's not that much. Five hundred people. No, it's it, not that crazy. It's either it's either a hundred and fifty no, or five hundred fifty. That's a big difference. Yeah, yeah I don't is. remember which one it is. Because what class were you guys in? Like for sports. That's you, you, Bruce. Were you a big school or a small school? Fairly big. Know. How many kids okay, were in every Fifteen hundred total kids in yeah. this in the school. So okay. not five hundred in our grade. Yeah, there you go. Did anyone it. call you Bruce when you were there? Um, one guy actually watched watched the program. What did he say? Like, holy fuck, Bruce! He's like, dude, I started watching when it came on ESPN, and I saw you one day. I was like, holy fuck, dude! And I was like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> that exactly. What that's he literally. Says. That's might literally be the what best happened. Person, like ho- ever uh, yeah, hockey dude. Okay, like, so who dude. got hammered and embarrassed themselves? Was it you? Yeah. Um, I'm Bruce. I'm fucking Bruce Brown yeah, I'm now. Bruce Brown. No, no, no. It, it was. It was my. It was my buddy Jizz for sure. He oh, was nice. Wow. He, How do you get his name? <laughs> uh, his last name. It, it's like a play on his name. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't but, sure uh, if he. Well, Jimmy Jizzball. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is. I think that um, is it. Right? Yeah, Jizz, Jizz was being the primary menace. I was menace on Thanksgiving itself. Oh god. Yeah, you did were. Did you? Uh, yeah. Did you go solo to the reunion? Uh, with yes. Danger. With, with, no with our, danger. With our Croatian queen, but yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, that that was my question. You didn't bring, the, you didn't bring Muhammad. I did not. Yeah, well, what the no. fuck is that about? Yeah, he's yeah. Muhammad. He's my guy. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to. Don't look him in the eye. Don't even look at him. <laughs> freak the fuck out. <laughs> you guys got to fucking drive to survive here somewhere. Yep. Oh. yep. You guys got cruising world in here. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. And yep. drive to survive is the F one show. Yep. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, how was Thanksgiving? What'd you do? Why? Why were you a menace on Thanksgiving? Uh, so we we started off early with some champagne flutes. Classic. What time? What time? Nice. Ten. Uh, no, probably like like one thirty, one thirty two. No, so not that early. No, not that one early. one p.m. And so this is pre meal. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well before I um, eat early, and I I was just slugging champagne. I probably drank like you know a half a bottle. Maybe very three easy to do in those half clues. a yeah. bottle. Oh yeah. Maybe three fourths of a bottle. High school. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then. <laughs> I uh, I just went straight to the Woodford and diet. Yep. Um, and I polished off about you know seven. What time or did so. you turn to Woodford and diet? 
Uh, right around probably five o'clock. Okay, okay. That's, not, so that's a um, long time to. Go, yeah, I'm telling you, I drank. I don't know how much champagne I. I, I probably had like like five flutes of the okay. champagne. Okay, so yeah, you had a bottle of champagne. Yeah, I drank probably a bottle of champagne. Yeah. yeah. Um, Did you have then, an empty belly at that point, or were you yeah, snacking yeah, on? Yeah, no, of course, we're saving ourselves. Well, we had some some old doves for right, certain. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Some pigs in a blanket. Ooh. Classic. We do a little crab meat with wasabi on a cracker. Yeah. Highly recommend Were you it. eating the Ritz? Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> some brie covered in cranberry sauce. Okay. okay. Cranberry sauce kind of ruined it. Quick question. Sure, uh, this, sure. this is going back, but 10 year anniversary or the 10 year reunion mm-hmm. thing. Did you see any high school flings or anything? Uh, there? yeah. Did yeah, you yeah, tell? Brother. Did you yeah. tell? Danger, stay away. Yeah. That really hot girl. Just <laughs> <laughs> be my ex. Uh, no, no. You just gotta, you just gotta be, be cool, calm, collected. Just, oh, act, just, just act like a normal fucking human being and you should be okay. What was the uh, do fit, Bruce? <laughs> Were you dressed uh, up? Uh, no, I was actually wearing this exact hoodie. Tiny, nice. tiny logo hat guy yeah. show up or no? Uh, no, no, Michigan Wolverine hat guy because I, yeah, I really had to pack it for the for the game. Michigan sure. Man. Which um, game? The. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did you tell everyone that <laughs> if <laughs> Coach would have put you in in the fourth quarter, you guys would have won state like you tell us all the time? Yep. Uh, no, I've never said that. Well, wow. Wow. I, I was week. I was in. I was the reason we didn't win state. Uh, boy. Well, funny right. enough, uh, this year Bruce went to the state championship and he used Seat Geek to get his tickets. Hell, what? Oh, Hell yeah, yeah, brother! Just kidding. Most public school leagues are free to go to, but if if they weren't. Mm-hmm. Right. The tickets would be available on SeatGeek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you to today's sponsor, SeatGeek, the best ticket app on planet Earth. And the the plus, number. they have that beautiful ticker that isn't up there right now, but it is from around 12 to 4 on the Pat McAfee Show, and it is a beautiful ticker. They have over 28 million downloads. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. They rank the seats. Yes, you, you will. Yeah. One to ten. Ten being the best, one being the worst, one being red, ten being green, the middle being yellow, kind of like a stoplight. Oh, okay. Green, Stop if you see red, good. yellow. Maybe think about going. I always do. Yep. Green, get it, go. Okay. okay. Get yep. it and go. Yep. More than seventy thousand events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Maybe one day, top tier Connecticut high school football. Uh, each ticket is on their scale. You can use the code Pat thirty to get thirty dollars off football tickets. That's any NFL or college football purchase don't matter if you're a new or repeat purchaser thirty dollars off with code pat three zero restrictions apply well said very nice i think we can get into the fun now yeah i think we can yeah. any, any, any more bones back there i don't think uh, so i think we kind of any thanksgiving stories uh, good bones here. yeah uh, guy coughing on the airplane i was like what the hell is this guy coughing every five seconds that stinks <laughs> That stinks. Nate, Nate Bargatze's got a great little stand-up bit about that. I think you, if that ever happens again, you just turn your butt. I in was. His face no, I did pull and that you move. Just fart. No, I was just Jesus facing the Christ. aisle. I was like aggressively turned, facing the aisle, just hammering retro bowl. Um, my, nice. my my quarterback actually got injured, so that was a bone. Ooh. That was a bone to pick as well. Tommy Sue has been spinning it lately. Nice <laughs> for the Patriots. Yeah, it's we're about to win our tenth straight retro bowl. We'll get into that later. Wow. Let's see what we got. Okay. Obviously, uh, from what you can tell us, is the longest that we have gone without going into the FOD. Just going just gonna to be straight up with you guys. It's not as heavy <laughs> as it normally yeah. is. Tony and Nick are our FOD savants, if you will. Yeah, anchors they are. They are of the FOD. There it is. Anchors. I didn't want to use anything negative like something that holds you down. But, yes, anchors of this FOD. It really show, you know. It doesn't yeah. feel right. Should we end the show because they're not here? Yeah, yes. Good yes. Uh, I'm just joking around. Let's get into In it. In time. All right, we're done. Taco Bell sued over party that allegedly included, quote, open sex. Uh, former Taco Bell employee Alana Bechiom mm-hmm. has filed a lawsuit against the company over an alleged party that descended into drunken ca- chaos, including open sex. As reported by KTLA, Bechiom... <laughs> Lawsuit claims that her supervisor invited her to a Christmas party at the San Pedro Taco Bell in December 22 when she arrived at the restaurant where she also worked. She brought a bowl of guacamole in, quote, discovered that her supervisor covered the windows of the restaurant with wrapping paper. She noted that the cameras in the lobby of the restaurant were also covered. Usually a good indication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her co-workers were provided alcohol by their supervisor, the gentleman named earlier. 
not named. It was in San Pedro. His name is not Pedro. Yep. Her coworkers were provided alcohol <laughs> by their supervisor, even though several staff members were evidently, quote, overserved. When she came, when she left the uh, restaurant briefly around midnight, she came back in at 8 a.m. to allegedly see one of her coworkers, quote, having sex with his wife in front of everyone at the party. Ooh. The wife of the coworker was also kissing the woman who served as the restaurant's Jeez. manager right. and another female coworker. Holy shit. This case wow. case <laughs> dismissed. Absolute case scene. dismissed. Case right, dismissed. Bro. Who fucking cares? Right. That's a banger. That's what? awesome. So on for eight hours? the worst part of this oh. is like, so he, they she leaves Welcome realizing Bill. this is happening. Oh, Hi. And then she's like, fuck, I left my guacamole bowl. Goes back for the guacamole bowl. Everyone that was fucking is now puking, and one person is puking in her guacamole bowl. No. So that what? the lawsuit is about the guacamole bowl. That is the <laughs> that is the claim that she so had. Were you sex. there, Bill? No, I, I, I read about this. Oh, okay. Bill, that is, uh, Bill was the one having sex. That's what <laughs> Anytime I, I see Taco Bell sex party, I, I will click that link. And yeah, I need to find out more about they're that. Just, they're just slamming crunch wraps, and they're like, all right, we got to clear a little space. See, I, I thought they were just trigger. covering their dongs in the walk or something. That's why she was pissed mm, off. Yeah, I, see, I, I thought some guy was being funny. Like, I'm going to take off my pants at the Taco Bell party. <laughs> Guess not. Not so much. No, that is that is interesting. Can you imagine the fucking jungle juice you can make with Baja Blast? Oh, <laughs> dude. Get fucking turnt. Imagine Give the burritos too, you could fill. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Well, right with guys were fi- with all that stu- jizz stuff in their dinghies. Is Bill still back yeah. there? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm here. I'm strapped they, in. When she left the restaurant briefly, what was, did they know she was going back? I, I have I don't like, know. Finally, she's gone. Let's start fucking. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, was it like? Finally. Yeah, I don't know the yeah. reasoning for the first leave. Well, probably going back, home. But... And then she said, "Oh, I forgot my guacamole bowl." Yeah. yeah. I will call you, everybody. That's the next day. Maybe thing. that was just how They'll after hours back. Taco yeah. Bell works. Next month. Are there cantinas out here? Oh yeah. yeah. There's one downtown. That was pretty is chill. There? There yeah, is. They're, are, well, they're opening one downtown. Okay. I, I think that's a, that's Fuck, a yeah. false thing. I think what? the closest they talk, one. They kept talking about bring, like opening it and opening it. Yeah, we, and they never did it. They got weird Wait, liquor laws out here, right? Oh, kind of. Yeah. It's like yeah, that day bar in Broad Ripple right? that never opened. When we flew out of uh, Scottsdale, I think we saw like those Taco Bell, like, yeah. uh, the ten thousand dollar table. Ones. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. those yeah. are yeah. sick. Actually, they were supposed to be I've a never day nightclub that opened in Broad Ripple and never did. Yeah, that that got postponed. It seems like yeah. Oh, uh, really? There yeah. was a big order of you couldn't be open past like midnight or one in Broad Ripple. But the Smart. cantina news, that's fucking crushing. Oh, yeah. Trust me. It would be cool to have a cantina. I love the booze up. I think the closest one is the one in Nashville. That's fucked up, dude. That right. makes me. Okay, now I need to go to Nashville. All right, yeah, fuck. All right, I'll go too. I love that place. Is it really that important to like be able to get a beer at Taco Bell <laughs> that you're going to drive to Nashville to go <laughs> to Taco there's Bell? Cantina? There's 500 yeah. Mexican Absolutely restaurants around really here. Yeah, okay, so first play when he gets the toy back. Yeah. Do you think. Do you think I'll, I will tell you right now. If you're in Nashville, you go to the Cadillac Pussy Club. <laughs> you have a you know good exactly. time. Uh, but you're telling awesome. me that you would rather have a regular margarita than a fucking Baja Blast margarita. Yes, Sounds absolutely. Sounds so fucking good. Wow. I would. All right. Yeah. I would for sure. Regular uh, margs are fire. Uh, I mean, okay. and, they're, and they're not using fucking bottom shelf tequila like they probably are. No. Taco Bell. No. no. Taco Bell. I'm very fond of the Moscow Mule, to be honest. Love the mules. Live your life, Mitt. Yeah, do what you got to do, you man. Right. Go to fucking Nashville. Go. Yeah, I'll yeah. be with you in spirit. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. You know what? I'll 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 buy your first Modelo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the second one. Hell there you, yeah! There you go. I got your third, buddy. Fuck yeah! No, you're not. No, <laughs> no you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Tightish. <laughs> Next. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. that was great. Yep. Three quote GTA games are coming to Netflix on December fourteenth. Huh? What does that mean? That's that's what I'm wondering. Hmm. I'm show? interesting. Kind of assuming you might be able to play. I think you are too, but how? How? With what? Yeah, it doesn't I guess make you, any sense. You can. I mean, on PlayStation, on Xbox, you can have a Netflix app. So True. I will tell you, uh, Netflix did originally bring out that trivia crack game. Correct. Netflix, right. Oh yeah. And you could only play it on certain things. So I wonder if you'd be able to like plug and control. Or I wonder if that's the next thing that Netflix is going to start selling, like a game Games. controller with That'd their smart. subscription. That would be so... And then they could have just a catalog. Because they do have a bunch of games on there, I'm pretty sure. I've seen that. Yeah, they have the tab. Yeah. That would be sick. Could you imagine playing, like, Bioshock on there? Oh. Are you kidding me? But that's also the other thing is, like, 
you know, you can just download this shit on your PlayStation. Yeah. GTA 3 was uh, New York, right? Correct. When Liberty is the new City. one coming out? Uh, I have not announced yet. March or April, allegedly. A trailer is supposed to be coming out in December. Have you heard that like the price of the game is going to be like yeah. $400? 100 you, I think. Have you heard of the size of the game? Oh, it, insane. They're talking about like... Four it, times the size. Gigs of on gigs on gigs. Yeah, yeah. If you have anything downloaded on your PlayStation, you're gonna have to, have to, gonna no. have to part ways with yeah. that. Which like, I'm fine. I'm fine with. I'm good, fine with too because I'll play GTA for a while. Assassin's Creed Mirage. Yeah, beat that. Can delete that. Spider Man can delete that. There's just games I got to check off. Like I got to get my duty in now. Yeah, so, exactly. Just yeah. let you know, you could get an external hard drive. Yes, or and do just that. Plug it to the back of it. Mm, True. Now that now that might be the play. move, just because of how much space this shit is going to yeah. take up for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Just because it's hard to imagine that game being quick. Probably no. playing that for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why these exist, because they're small, I assume, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. I'm going to say, because I don't have Andreas Xbox. Is pretty big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is San Andreas oh. the latest? No. Oh, no, hours. GTA 5. I don't have Xbox or PlayStation, so if I can just get a remote and just be like, oh, I'm on Netflix, boom, let's play. That's kind of awesome. Mm-hmm. You still playing any Nintendo Switch? Yeah, I have Nintendo Switch. I played it over Thanksgiving break with the nephew, Wii Sports, Mario Kart. Beat the fuck Mario's, out of him. Oh, every single time. Good. He gets uh, actually upset about it. Oh, but yeah. Good, That's good. Yeah. Make yeah, him cry. It it's yeah. awesome. That's I love that thing, though. Yeah, the, new, uh, the new PlayStation 1 that they have looks unbelievable. Like, you can play full PlayStation games on – it's essentially has, like, a phone inset in like a split controller but Ooh, you can play I like the brand that. new spider-man all yeah that. I, I, that is sick there, so there's this thing i just downloaded it's called like playstation remote it's an app on your phone you can play games f- through the playstation mm. app. yeah when like you're taking a shit yes yeah. yep playstation is so much fucking better than xbox yeah, it's yeah pretty, it, it, it is crazy <laughs> 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 online's also free <laughs> um is what? online free now i'm pretty sure no, uh, it's, no. it's like f- it's only like five ten bucks a month though yeah, they got me then um fuck Oh, yeah, Netflix. Could you imagine if on Netflix they had, like, NBA Street, NFL Street? NFL. All, all the classics? Games. Yes, yeah. like, they, all those fucking games. That would be like, all, like, What was, that the, what was the NHL hard. one called? NHL Hits. NHL, NHL Hits. hits. With a NFL fucking Blitz. Z, yeah. dude. Just bring yeah. back Slugfest. Slug Slug Bingo. Yeah. yeah, just bring mm-hmm. on back all those games. They're so fun. Make it happen, Netflix. Please. Next. Who was the best TV neighbor? Now, I'll be honest. I don't know all of these. Okay. Really? Oh, who do you know? Sam. Who's Winnie? Oh, uh, Winnie Cooper, dude. Wonder Years. Who's Sheena? Shanene? Oh, sorry. It's blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Shanene. <laughs> it's blurry. It's blurry. Who is Shanene? If Shanae-nae. I had to guess Martin Lawrence show. Yeah, I think that's Martin. Who's Molly? <laughs> uh, she is from Full House. Yeah, She yeah, is Becky's the... best friend. Uh, oh, so you have two Full House people yeah, on Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, you can't have that. See, I didn't think that because yeah. Kimmy's up there. Mickey Mouse. Oh, then may- Molly might be someone else then. Yeah, who is Molly? Oh, there's a Godzilla thing. That looks like it might be the uh, Roseanne living room. Uh, oh, yeah, you might yeah. be right, yeah. William. Paul, I'm going Mr. Feeney. Yeah. George? Sam. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, between you Feeney and Wilson. She's pot, Corey. Yeah. Mr. Matthews. <laughs> So good. Suck my dick, Mr. Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn, Mr. Matthews. <laughs> it is Roseanne. I love Feeney. Uh, it is Roseanne. Good yeah. pull, Bill. Is uh is Kramer in separate yeah. art from artist no, category yet? I don't or? think you can. Yeah, I mean <laughs> We've we've litigated this already. <laughs> what do you do? Good I do TV believe Dave Chappelle forgave him. I mean TV show, you I, would have to say Kramer, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I mean, going Feeney. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, Wilson had Feeney. such good Yeah, life. Wilson's Wilson's an all-timer. I'll tell you what. I love the Wonder Years. Yeah? And I, Winnie. I wanted to boink Winnie Cooper for the <laughs> longest yeah. time. Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. So, so you're Put taking Winnie? Here. No, I'm not. Uh, I mean, yeah. Kimmy was, Kimmy was terrible. I wasn't a fan of Kimmy no. either. No, me neither. If I, I smacked like, the I'm... fuck out of somebody, it'd be Steve. I ca- Steve Urkel. Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't Steve. hate Steve. Yeah, I, like I might. Steve. I might go Wilson here to be honest. I, I, Wilson's good. Yeah, it's yeah. tough for me. It's either Wilson or fucking George Feeney. Feels wow. like the vibes were Plus, always we high with Wilson. Wilson. Ooh, R.I.P. Wilson. Love you, Wilson. Mom is signing. Yep. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of other neighbors from other shows, but I can't think of any. Yeah, there. It's hard to. It's like a lost art. Like this is like a '90s thing almost. I mean, Doug. You know, you got Mr. Dink next door. Mm-hmm. Douglas. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> who was his neighbor? 
Uh, well, he lived in like the tenant house, so like he had like yeah. oh, Oscar Kokoschka, yeah. and, mm-hmm. and it, it, his grandpa had a dick on his on his face. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick was kind of a neighbor. Patrick Star. Yeah. Boom. Well, yeah. Squidward technically. Is yeah. A yeah Squidward. Is well. There you go. He's a terrible neighbor. Plays a clarinet. Yeah. Who else? Who, what's wrong with clarinet? Who else? I played the clarinet. It sucks. Me too. Really? Sucks. I did yeah. for a month too. Switch to the drums. It did stink. Nice. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Next. Mitt, I just put this on there strictly so we could talk about the Spotify yep. thing <laughs> in general, but girls low key compete in who logged the most T Swift hours is the best. My sister's in the top half percent. So I'm just Whoa. Gonna lead, I'm I'm gonna lead actually, with I that. I want to know Boom. how many hours she got because oh, I saw a top hour. half percent and it was like. Sixteen fucking uh, thousand plus. It was uh, unreal. She, she's 16, over. Sixteen thousand. Yeah, I thought that was that was the highest. That's I've a year. Seen. How many hours are in a fucking year? Or no minutes. Sorry, minutes. Minutes. Oh, that Sixteen thousand hours would be. People have a problem 4, with you posting 15. this on the IG stories. I don't get that. Yeah, people have a problem with everything though. So, but I yeah. feel like this. It's like why? Like who I, gives a I, fuck? Uh, I know. I think that this is actually usually cool, but this year, especially this year, it literally was every single fucking girl on my Instagram feed just yeah. the most yeah. T Swift hours, and then top it the most T Swift hours, and then mm-hmm. just somebody has to fucking top. It. She uh, logged twenty one thousand two hundred and eighty seven minutes. <laughs> That's, That's a awesome. lot. How many retweets did this get? Mid fifteen hundred. Uh, I think this got like maybe fifteen hundred. Uh, like even C's. Twenty one thousand minutes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, today's is 14 days. decent amount of C's. That is a, that's a lot of straight C's. days. Uh, I think I forget what I clocked. Connor, in Connor, I was impressed. I told Connor in the Hawk House this morning. I said I was in the top four percent in the world Just, listening to music, and Connor had me beat. But here's the thing: I will go sleeper time or Spotify, put it on an hour when right. I'm going to bed. Yeah, so there's like, it. yeah, it, you got to at least think at least. Half of those I'm sleeping for. Right. Yep. Mine mine got messed up by, by the narco every day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, doctor, uh, office, it's... dentist. Like, there's just music playing. That's someone's music. They're going to have, you know, the most minutes played for I see a sure. lot of podcasts. I, like, yeah. didn't even think I'm an Apple. I'm an Apple music Same. Guy, I'm so also. I don't, I don't oh, so you're the. You, you got FOMO? Shit. You got FOMO oh, right now? You want to look at mine? No. So you can, because oh, I'm actually one of those guys. Like, I don't have a problem with it, but I also, like. I don't give a fuck. No, listening yeah. to it. No, absolutely no. not. Also, no. you know? Morgan Wallen was my most listened to artist, and for Jeez. whatever for whatever reason, I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> embarrassed by that. classic oh, Connecticut. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Uh, and gonna I gonna... think that's bullshit. I I think I listen to Zach Bryan more. I'll I, see if I, can I played 1968 it. songs in 2023. Okay, that's pretty good. I know. Um, I... Um, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. You go ahead. I'm. I know. I missed this. Bones. Do you guys ever uh, get irrationally mad whenever you're out somewhere in public and like? They don't have uh, ad-free listening. Like they'll be playing a Spotify or something, I, and I you can hear. I don't think I've ever encountered that. To be honest, it happens at my gym whenever I'm not working out here. Like, it's it's unbearable. Yeah, dude, that it happens in insane. fucking Ubers a lot, which is like, how the fuck, man? I. Uh, That's where I, I get. Yeah, think I get so mad about It's that. fucking <laughs> ten yeah. bucks a month, dude. Yeah. Counting the gas. Fucking Zach Bryan is my top artist. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? You do play like every other song you play. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we could probably. That is not true. We could probably. That is that is that is that is egregious (laughs) to say that every other song I listen to (laughs) is Zach Bryan in the Hawk House. That's a Hawk House. Spotify says different, bro. Bro, Spotify says different, bro. Bro, if I walk into the Hawk House with music playing, sure. I have never worked out to Zach Bryan one time. No, yeah, that is a fact. You both are I, I, fucking idiots. We I might be thinking of oh. every word to East Side of Sorrow, and you know it. Right? I might be thinking of whenever we interact in the locker room, heading into the bingo. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Still, it's still Cal's playing. Pre-game. You're it's driving to Zach playing. every day. No, it's War this Pigs, your number one played song. <laughs> no, I think my that number one. Fifty six thousand nine hundred one minutes listened to music. That's a lot. That's thirty nine days nonstop. Sheesh. I remember, I remember. My number one song is Daylight because I listen to it a fuck ton after the Cody Rhodes. No, no, different Daylight. After the Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar match. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Yeah. Listen to that song 10,000 times. You know, it's just fun checking in on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I, I Next. It's, it's a good and we gimmick. appreciate everyone who sends us. Yeah, yeah, yeah seriously. Hey, that that shit's mm-hmm. really cool to see. Or, you know, the pod. Yeah. Thank you. Thank that you. stuff is sweet. Uh, yesterday, November 26, 2023, was the busiest day ever for air travel in the United States. The graphic is just cool to see. You can zoom in on it a little bit. 
Yeah. That's a lot of people. 2.8 million people. That's Jeez. a lot of mother Closer to 2.9. I'm trying to think what day I, is that. Uh, I sent this in just to be like, I, what, I Sunday? fucking that flew. Was Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. look. Hey, Bruce, there we are, Bruce. Look. Yeah, look at us. Look, Bruce, we're on there. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Did you fly that day? Yeah. I did. That's me right there. Broke a record. I'm a Guinness World Record holder. Yeah. yeah. Send me my plaque. Surprising, <laughs> surprisingly low amount of people over like Montana, whatever that is. Up yeah. There. There's all the... There's like one Not a whole lot of flights dude. going there. Just those two, yeah. just Helena and uh, whatever the so other low. place there. That's is. where Spotify told me to move Bozeman, Montana. Really? Bozeman yeah. Mine was Min- mine was Minnesota. Like mine was. Utah. Wait, wait. It tells you where to move. Or not it, just, yeah, like, it says who in the world listens to like the same music you do. Mine was Minnesota. Where, yeah. Where's What's that? Here? I want to see that. What if yours says move to China? <laughs> <laughs> Chai com. Then I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> uh Real quick, I just want to see. We're gonna cut while you're part. looking for that, and I don't know if anyone oh, else. Perfect. has just It's been, the third, third uh, story. It's the third there. story. Uh, I've been having a little trouble, you know, just with what am I gonna get people this holiday season? Yeah, Ooh. me too. You know, I fell into this trap oh, as well. It's tough. Something. Can you, Bruce? Yes, uh, yes, is that yes. something? Maybe. Oh, Mine's just fucking know. Bozeman. Yeah, buddy, dude. We're gonna be. I'm out of here. We're gonna be riding in the saddle side by side. Well, you know what, Bozeman? Uh, there's a lot of wild game out there. Um, and if you don't want to kill any wild game on you guys' own ranch, you know what you can do is you can order some beef Ooh. from Omaha Steak. Oh, hey. Omaha, Omaha. That's right, baby. Go- Omaha Steaks has the quality convenience, and everything you need to deliver an unforgettable holiday gift experience. I mean, everyone everyone knows, you know, hey, do I want to get my dad a, another tie or another polo that he's not going to wear or just some other bullshit that he's nope. not going to use or he's not going to like? No. Every single year, Omaha Steaks comes in. Please save me, B. What? And it always does, mm-hmm. okay? The holidays are here. Mm-hmm. Not Exactly, but they're, they're about they're, to be. Yeah, they're about to be. Just around the room. We're in the though. midst. We're in the midst. Exactly. I don't know when the uh, 25 Days of Christmas starts on uh, ABC Family now. Freeform. I assume it's December 1st. It is Friday. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the holidays are here. Let Omaha Steaks take the guesswork out of gifting. Shop carefully curated gift packages that are guaranteed to make spirits bright all Ooh, winter long. Hell yeah! I like that. I like that a lot. Go to OmahaSteaks.com and save. Get this, okay? And this ain't no fucking joke. 50% off site wide oh, on the beef shit. on mm. all the beef. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, your heart <laughs> desires. You still got the apple tartlets? <laughs> you know it. Uh, yeah. You I'm mean? thinking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's site wide, folks. Plus, when you use oh. promo code the pod at checkout, I don't know. Do you want maybe an additional thirty dollars off your order? Yeah. Do I, okay. So what do I need? A couple pennies? Pretty much. Yeah. Exactly. Slide them into my computer. Boom. That's Give me the beef. You, that's all you got to do. <laughs> Send me the beef. Send me that tender, juicy butcher's <laughs> cut filet <laughs> mignon. Beef. Thank you, beef. But we also got mouth-watering burgers. Bye. Gourmet jumbo, Franks. What? Or the pork chops. Or even just easy to prepare meals that are ready in a flash. They have veal and Sheesh. lamb on here. They got easy prepared Ooh. meals? They got everything. They do. I've actually had uh, some of their Italian delicacies, lasagna, um, uh, spaghetti bolognese, well, whatnot. Nice. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very easy to make as well. And Omaha Steaks is ready to ship your order right away, so shop early and beat the shipping rush. Go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code THEPOD at checkout. Listen, everybody knows Omaha Steaks is a gift from the heart, okay? Always is. Okay, when you when you send someone one of these Omaha Steaks gift boxes, they're going to say, this guy cares. My, mm-hmm. my dad damn near cried. Well, exactly. This guy cares about him. <laughs> he actually cares about him. He knows I like beef. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I love beef. Mm-hmm. It's a gift that will be remembered with every unforgettable bite of juicy, oh. tender, Hi. succulent. Did you do the call to action. Beef. <laughs> Pureed it. I don't know, Bruce. Do you want to fucking read it? Because it says the, <laughs> the red font is mandatory. Yeah, it is. So I'm brother. getting there. So Why shut, you is, shut your brother. goddamn mouth. Do you Let do me this? sell some goddamn beef. <laughs> Why do you do this? <laughs> Visit OmahaSteaks.com and take advantage of 50% off site-wide, plus use promo code THEPOD at checkout to get that extra $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. Of course. That would make sense. You can't order something that's $30. <laughs> exactly. Now, so you have to pay nothing. Exactly. Uh, also, breaking news from the pod. 
Uh, we will no longer be doing ad reads. Just Bruce will. Oh, yeah. okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Bingo. Because you, you know better than we do actually for shoot. I'm not saying no, that. No, I, I, yeah. I, I, I am certainly um, in the top three at them. Yeah, on your Spotify uh, ad ad reads, yep. you are definitely in the top three percentile. Yep, yep. I actually got a bone to pick, but that's not what ad reads are. So we'll plus, sa- we'll we, save. we do those at the beginning of the show. We do. <laughs> Don't do those mid show. Right. All, right. oh, All right, we got a couple videos to see here. Let's let's check them out. <laughs> uh, the first one is <laughs> first, first one's what awesome. Was that? Uh, what was that? First what one, was that? First that's one not one exactly done. appropriate for the it's time. Not, it's not a pod- <laughs> okay. Okay, if, if we want to show it, no, we can. Just don't no. show it to the people. Just should, okay, Mitt. Do not do not change the camera. Keep it on us. Just, oh, just, <laughs> in case you hadn't seen that meme, yeah. please. It's please. a good <laughs> meme. It's just a good meme. That's all. It's just a good meme. Oh, uh, we got good. this guy moving, and uh, as someone who hates moving, this is at the top of nightmare scenarios. Why don't you run this? Oh. Just can't wait to move oh. to my new house. <laughs> oh no! Wait, hold on. It'll stop. Oh, oh. oh putting the leg Shit. up and trying to brace Ooh. all of your belonging. Oh, where did yeah, this guy I'm, end all your up here? Oh, your <laughs> <laughs> all the baloney that you stored in those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> all your belongings. All your he belongings. ended up in this corner, head <laughs> split oh, open yeah. on that wall. Yep. Washer. Yep. Yep. Not yep. to mention that oh. he also probably <laughs> is going to incur about. Ten thousand dollars in damages. On <laughs> At that. least. Yeah. Let, Hope you got insurance, pal. Let alone the, the wall that he scraped. Oh yeah. You know the neighbor's wall. The you truck. have to move out of that apartment. Look at him here <laughs> too. Like, woo, we're moving in. So is Let's the go. car? Is the car? He in, looks up like, yeah. Is the car neutral? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, you know how these things are. They're finicky yeah, when it comes are. to what gear it's in. They are. What is? What's up with those doors? Yeah, with the wooden on the back. Well, it looks like it might be in London. I yeah, those, think it's the United that fence, States. Isn't it? That fence looks like Burnley. Man. That sucks, Packing that man. shit back up in there and actually having to move it. That is like that would be the oh. worst feeling in the no, entire yeah, I think I would cry. I think you, I would call it a day. No, yeah, you leave. You never go back. Yep. None of that stuff is yours. Now. Yeah, you're right. Tell me this, though. If Have his to. door is the bottom of this hill, though. And all that stuff just kind of kind of went right in front of the door. Oh, yeah, then he, it could be. You're right. He got smushed, though. Yeah, True. He is fucking down. Not to mention, couch. if you have any valuables in there, those are all broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, done, done. Any, any pictures? Yep, done. I do love the little like, hey, yeah, like, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're moving. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna oh, keep all this dude. stuff. I mean, he did what he could. It was kind of a, a pretty heady move. None of the boxes <laughs> fell out while he was breaking. <laughs> yeah, he almost <laughs> held on there. Could you imagine that guy, just Peter Parker? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he legitimately almost did. Look at how far he made it down. I know. It's very impressive. And then boom. <laughs> boom, boom, Broke boom. Broke both Broken his ankle. arms. It looks like he did a great job packing, too. I mean, he oh, really yeah. got a lot of stuff. Yeah. He got a lot of stuff. The more you think it. about it, this could have been way worse. What if he gets pushed out by his luggage right away, and then he gets run over by the car? Yeah, you're right. Good yeah, point. that could have happened. Yeah. I think he's got a fucking washer dryer. Right he does. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely yeah, he does. does. <laughs> 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 the washer, <laughs> washer dryer. The washer dryer. Got him. Yeah, he's lucky. That, did, that thing didn't smush him. <laughs> That's what got him. He, he was holding it up with his leg. That's electric. <laughs> Fucking weapon. Sorry, buddy. Next, this next video is an all timer. Yep. I think we should real quick before you yes. start. Yeah, preface it. Um, you know, this feels like the this is the last thing in the pod fod, and this feels like the right thing to kind of go out of. Right. Uh, first of all, like Ty mentioned earlier, everyone who shared the pod fod and as your top thing on Spotify, that is very fucking cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, shout out to all you guys. We you, pr- we do it for you guys. We do mm-hmm. for you. Uh, and Tony and Nick do too. They do. They they also send their condolences. Tony a little less than Nick, but oh, that's whoa. Bill's opinion. Uh, so thank you for Please that still. one. Jeez. Uh, for two, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Probably should have led with that, but again, we're not very good at this. Yeah. Um, and lastly, I hope that you people out there, I hope myself included, yep. can love something the way this wonderful woman loves Walmart. Now, I forget her name. Does Gail anyone? Lewis. There it is. Gail Lewis. Thank you, Gail. Journeyman. We're, we're, you, what you're looking at here is this is Udonis Haslam of the Walmart world. <laughs> okay, this lady <laughs> will die for her Walmart team, just like Udonis would for his Heat team. Yep. Why don't we run it? <laughs> Volume. Walmart. Thank you. This is Gail Lewis. 
10 year associate, Morris, Illinois, 844. Ooh. Signing out. Good night. <laughs> so today was an end of an era for me. What you just saw was me signing out for the last time <laughs> at my Walmart. It's not funny, man. That I have worked at for 10 years. It's a happy sad because I'm going to be going to a better job. And those people became like family. I've been through a lot with them. They watched my back. I watched theirs. They helped me out. I helped them out. We even went through a fucking pandemic together. <laughs> it just hurts, but it's a happy sad. Because where I'm going, I'm going to be better off where I'm at. And that's all. That's all. Thank you, Gail. Love you, Gail. Love you, Gail. Miss you, Gail. What? Love you, Gail. What? what? Need you, Gail. Want you, Gail. What? We love you, Gail. I, uh, I'll have to send it in for next week. I saw it on TikTok. People were going around and interviewing people in the store just to you know, give a little bit about what Gail meant to them. Nice. And she was the heart and soul of this Walmart. It will oh, never yeah. be the same without gail she worked night shift she kept the the uh shit on the shelves she made sure that nothing was getting stolen she's asset protection too i bet she had oh, 10 to 15 confirmed yeah. kills for at sure. least oh yeah shot a bunch of would-be you know robbers yep right through the fucking eyes <laughs> yep <laughs> one shot one kill exactly what's yeah. the deal and then she went back she'd get the mop bucket and clean the brains off the aisle. <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. That Walmart fucking sucks now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's no the worst Walmart yeah. in America. Most now. downhill Descended Walmart. into chaos immediately after she left. Mm-hmm. You think people aren't saying like, hey, Gail's not there anymore. Let's go fucking raid this place tonight. That, I'm sure people working there are, what do I even do when I come in? Yeah. Like, Gail's not here. Where the fuck's Gail? Oh, where where, right now. where is starting. Gail? I wonder where she went. CIA. I'm going to start GoFundMe to build a statue for her. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside the Walmart headquarters, <laughs> Walmart HQ. Who's uh, who's the Walmart guys? What's their names? Uh, the, Waltons. the Waltons. Yeah, yeah the Waltons yeah. should fucking do this right now. Yeah, Outside they, of Mile High. They probably yeah, won't. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they probably won't. Next, hey, wow. next uh, Broncos game. That's a great idea. Have Break, her sprint out. Right next to Peyton. With the team. Have her sprint out. <laughs> like Lil Gale Wayne. Gail Lewis Stadium. Fucking line her up wide. Let Russ throw a couple <laughs> bubble screens to her. Yeah. <laughs> Russ, throw Now her. we're talking. We need to put her in the gun, my friend. <laughs> she needs to be... She'll, she'll throw that thing to Jerry Judy 90 yards. Are you benching Russ for her? Shotgun. Who do they think they have under center? Gail Lewis? <laughs> 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 no, they don't. <laughs> no, you're not. No, Gail. you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, she's a high school football team. We are not training for the Marines here. <laughs> no, we are not training for the Marines here. We're just having fun. That's right. And we love all you guys for having fun with us. We'll see you next week. And that's where it's at. <laughs>